of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. <laughs> As you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America, in offices and factories, on farms and ranches. In mines and oil fields, folks find that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people, and they're glad, too, that they're able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of a radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in it. Dear Mama Me, all over America from 9 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon, all the kids are staying in school. That's to keep them busy and it gives their mom enough time to buy a new hat. <laughs> Oh, it's a wonderful mamma mia. The, the schools that they got to hear. Till, you, till you're 16, you go to public school. First is a grammar school. Then when you grow high, is a high school. <laughs> then if you're smart, you go to college. Even if you're stupid, you can go to college. <laughs> there they teach you French, Spanish, Latin, and Greek. And you can be stupid in the four languages. <laughs> But me, Mamma me, I'm got a plenty of time to go to college because, well, I'm still stupid in a night school. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a trying to learn. And, and I'm very happy that I'm got the most wonderful teacher in the world, Miss Spalding. And she is so beautiful. Mamma me, when, she, when she's trying to make me learn something, is a pleasure. Because even if my brain I don't understand, my eyes appreciate that. <laughs> Just the last night that when I was coming home from the school with my friends, Horowitz was a saying... He certainly are fortunate. Some teachers would get disgusted for some of the answers we give. But not Miss Spaulding. Yeah, oh, that was true. Miss Spaulding has a wonderful capacity for patience. <laughs> yeah, and, and also, she's, she's a so smart and, a, and, a, and a so beautiful. Sure. Huh? Oh, what a combination. Ooh, ha! Ah. But listen to me. My heart is bumping like a just discovered oil. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, listen. I got a terrible news. Terrible news. What, 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 the worst news you ever heard. <laughs> Miss Spalding is gonna leave us. Miss Spalding is... Uh, what? Uh, she's gonna leave us? But why? Are you sure? What happened? So, she told you? No, no, no. Listen, listen. I was getting my clothes out from the clothes closet. See, uh -huh. nobody could see me. Yeah. Suddenly, the principal walked in. Oh, Mr. Roth. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. He begins whispering to Miss Spalding. She says, I'm sorry, Mr. Oz, my letter of resignation still stands. Oh. And he says, please reconsider, Miss Spalding. Then she whispers back something I couldn't hear. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> but a short, uh, why, why, why you couldn't hear because my ear only stretches nine inches away from my head. <laughs> That's where it was, and it wouldn't go no further. Yeah, but, uh, Mamma Mia, that's the worst news in the world. I wonder why she's doing it. Shouldn't I blame you? You are always joking around and acting like a yak ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop you! You, Olsen, you are always acting like a yak ass yourself. <laughs> Ah, I'm sorry, Olsen. Himmel, if I thought she was leaving on account of me, I would... Well, I would find the nearest swimming pool and jump into it. What's so terrible about that? After I let the water out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but uh, Schultz, I don't feel so bad. I'm, I'm sure it's not because of you, because... Maybe it could be because of me. I'm, 
Well, I'm, I'm always a stop at the class with the, my problems. No, 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 Luigi. If it's anybody, it's me. No, no, it's me, all right. Yeah, but the look, why, why, why are we arguing so much? What we got to do is go see Miss Balding and make her change her mind. I'm going to her house first thing in the morning. And I'll go with you, Luigi. Well, uh, I won't be finished with my milk. Oftentimes. Well, I got to be in the store. But that's all right, uh. Horowitz and me, we George, gonna... you see, that's what makes Miss Spaulding disgusted. Horowitz and me. There should be Horowitz and I. Oh, at a time like this, he thinks of Grabber. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you two go, Luigi and Horowitz, and talk. Talk, talk. Until you can win her, she's got to stay. That's right, Schultz. We tell her how much we need her, how the school wouldn't be the same. We're going to tell her everything. And what if it don't work? Then there's only one thing left to do. What's that? Bribery. We guarantee her an apple a day for the next ten years. <laughs> well, uh, here's the house, Sir Horowitz. Uh -huh. you, you, you talk to her, huh, Horowitz? Well, I'll start, Luigi. Then, then she tells me to mind my own business... Then it's your turn to talk. Well, all right. Oh, here. Here, this is Doris. It says, uh, manager. I'm, yeah. I'm going to ring. Uh, sorry, no rooms for rent. But we... Try me in a couple of days. I think the girl on the first floor is moving. Uh, that is, unless she comes through with the rent. The rent, uh, You mean uh, maybe Miss Spalding? Yes. Yeah. Say, who are you, anyway? Permit me to introduce ourselves. My name is Horowitz, and this here is... Luigi Pasco. Mamma mia, you guess my name just by looking under my face? <laughs> no, not exactly. It's just that Miss Spaulding is always talking about her night school class. Hey, where's the tall, silly-looking fellow who tells a funny joke? <laughs> uh, uh, you, you, you mean a shirt, sir? Yeah. <laughs> and a quiz kid also knows. Uh, I tell you, the way she talks about you, you'd think the class was one big family. I don't know. The way she marks the papers, we must be distant relatives. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, if you're here to see Miss Spaulding, she's not in now. Oh, she's not, huh? Well, uh, where is she? Well, right now she's down at a professional employment agency I told her about. Uh -huh. You see, Luigi, the whole thing is a matter of money. You mean, Mr. Landlord, uh, you turn her out of her room because she's a nut to get the money? Oh, look, don't get me wrong. Miss Spaulding's a fine girl, very fine. But, you know, this isn't the first time I've been delayed on my rent. <laughs> and, you know... Uh, hey, wait, where are you going? Are you mad because I'm putting her out? No, please, don't get us wrong. But do we find out what do we want to? Come on, Harowitz, so we know enough... Schultz, uh, did you see Louis dear Horowitz yet? No, but I hope they get here to the class before Miss Spaulding comes in. Sure, I'm right. dying to find out. Here they are. Oh. <laughs> well, fellas. Well, it's even simpler than we thought, boys. She is resigning from teaching because she needs more money. Yeah, and if, and if she's going to pay her rent as soon as she's got to move out there. Sure. They can't make her move by Yemeni. She is a teacher. Olsen, you can be a professor. But if the landlord don't get rent money, you've got to take your Ph.D. and move to the YMCA. What <laughs> <laughs> what is the matter, Luigi? Well, Schultz, I'm, uh, I'm uh, no feel good. You know, Schultz, when I'm uh, found the address, uh, I'm uh, thought that Miss Spalding would be living in a, in a beautiful place. No. Was it just little apartment in a house? Plain, old. Ach, Luigi, don't take it so to heart. Shh, shh, shh. She's coming in now. Yeah, yeah, Maybe we yeah. could talk her out of here. Good evening, class. Good evening, Mr. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'll call the roll. Mm. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howitt? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, everybody. I, I made a joke. All right, Mr. Schultz, now we'll get on with our lesson. I assigned you the chapter on the duties and powers of the president. Mr. Horowitz, will you tell us some of the duties of the president? With pleasure. The president, uh, let me see. Uh, Mr. Horowitz, do you or don't you know? Well, I'm trying to refresh my memory. The place to refresh it is home when you're studying. I'll just give you a zero for that. Mr. Basco? Well, I'm sorry. Uh, powers of the president, sir? Yes, go on. Well, uh, well, he, he appoints to the cabinet. Uh, With whose consent and approval? Huh? <laughs> when the president appoints his cabinet, whose approval must he get? I'm afraid I don't know. 
<laughs> All right, Mr. Basco, you may have a zero, too. Now, Mr. Schultz. Just call me zero. <laughs> Stop mumbling, Mr. Schultz. You may tell us when the president appoints his cabinet whose approval is necessary. Uh, uh, the, um, the Senate. The Senate. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, tell us the more powers of the president. Uh, uh, Commander in chief. His commander in chief. <laughs> Executive powers. He's got all executive powers. He signs the bills. He pays all gas on the electric bill. <laughs> zero, zero. And Mr. Olson, for whispering those answers to Mr. Schultz, you may have a zero, too. Miss Polly, you're giving Olson a zero? <laughs> That's like putting a dance trap on Einstein. <laughs> Please be quiet, Mr. Schultz. Mr. Olson, you amaze me. Why did you do that? Well? well I, I, I wanted everyone to, to make a good impression on you today. Today? Why today? Because, well... Because, uh, you, uh, because you, well, uh, because he's the one you should stay in the school and not to resign. Oh, so you know about my resignation. Yeah, and, uh, and I don't know worry about the rent, Miss Spalding, because... Uh, because if we was to spoke to your landlord, I see, and he gentlemen, was... don't you think you might possibly have acted a little out of turn, prying into my personal affairs? Miss Spaulding, it was only because... Please of... remember this for the future. My private life is my own. No matter how many liberties I seem to allow in my class. If I choose to resign from my teaching position, I shall resign. You may go now, class. I said class is dismissed. We don't want to go. We want to stay here with you. <laughs> Yo, uh, that, that's right. Please, uh, please, Miss Spalding, don't resign. Everything I'm learned about America, I'm, well, I'm, I'm learning from you. All the ideas that I'm got, uh, well, you helped me to get. He's right. Very well, since you all intend to remain here, I'll go. Good night, gentlemen. School will never be the same after she goes. Sure. I wonder who can take her place. Nobody. I hope there isn't that crabby old Nestor Hine. Maybe when he's a look on his salary, that's to make him a crabby. <laughs> ah, stop. If Miss Balding leaves, there's only one thing left for us to do. Well, what's that, the Schultz? Play hooky from school for the next 25 years. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a little thought that's good to keep in mind. It's the fact that Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum is really a two-way treat. It's a taste treat with lots of delicious, long-lasting flavor, and it's a chewing treat. Something good that you can chew on for as long as you want. What's more, this pleasant chewing aids digestion and helps keep your teeth bright and clean. So it's especially helpful right after a meal. Enjoy healthful, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum often. And always have some in your home for your family to enjoy. Wrigley's Spearmint costs so little, tastes so good, lasts so long. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in it. Well, Mamma Mia, I've got a bad news for you. You know that the wonderful teacher I'm always right to you about, Miss Spalding? Well, it looks like she's really going to stop a teaching. I'm never forget the mama me the first time mama walked into her room. That was two years ago. And she said, are you Luigi Basco? <laughs> mama mia. The way the sweet American girl is pronounced Luigi Basco. I'm a felt like my name was just a guy as a citizenship of papers. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm a remember first year. She's a teaching me so much about America. I'm going to learn about Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, Paul Revere, and, 
and all the other great Americans. Also, she's a teach me biggest American rule. You must never say ain't. <laughs> oh, I'm owe so much to this girl, Mamma Mia. Last Christmas, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give her a little box of handkerchiefs. Then a couple of weeks later, she's got a cold. And when she used my handkerchief to sneeze in, I was the proudest fellow in Chicago. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sitting here wondering what to do when in is come somebody, and I know he's no got to the answer. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. What's the matter for you? Hello, Pasquale. That's a matter, little banana nose. <laughs> Outside is the spring, the sun is a shining, birds is a flying around like a B 29s the air is a sweet like a perfume, and if you live another six weeks, June is going to be busting out the right of your little cabbage puss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> That's a matter, Luigi. You sick or something? No, no, Pasquale, he's a. Is it just that there's something is on in my head? Oh, oh it's about a guy, huh, Luigi? Yeah, but, uh, but, uh, but how you know? <laughs> how I know? I can read people's minds. I'm a philanthropist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you would have liked to do something for this little girl, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, Pasquale, I would like to... I'd like to do something, but, but what I'm can to do to help her. Oh, Rosa, don't ask her for much. You just to marry her. Pasquale, it, it was not the Rosa I'm going to think about. What? How you like that? He's a committed bigamy on my little girl before he even marries her. Pasquale, I'm, I'm going to think about the Miss Spaulding. Luigi, that's the sneakiest thing you could do. Marrying your teacher just to get a higher marks. <laughs> no, stop it, Pasquale. It isn't nothing like it. That is just, uh, just well... Miss Spalding, she's uh, she's uh, going to stop for coming to the school. That's a no sound all right, to Luigi. In America, the pupils is a play hooky, not the teacher. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, stop, stop! Uh, you making a fun of from something that's well, is a very serious. Uh, is it hard for Miss Spalding to get along on her salary, so she's uh, going to find another job? Well, that's not a bad idea. Lots of teachers they get a part time job as a tutor. In the daytime they teach, and the nighttime they toot. <laughs> But uh, she's uh, not going to toot. <laughs> she's to uh, give her resignation to the principal, and, and, and uh, she's uh, not come back. Oh, that's a catastrophe. Yeah. <laughs> well, Luigi, sometimes the things that turn out are for the good. Yeah, but... Uh, sure. But, uh, how... My daughter, Rosa, can be your teacher. Miss Spalding ain't the only one that knows the world is around, a two and two is a four, and a Lincoln discovered Nebraska. <laughs> No, please, please, Pasquale. I'm, I'm, I'm a feel bad. Then why not, Luigi? My little girl, she's got a high school diploma. She can teach you arithmetic and geography and history, and all the time you can be sitting holding hands with her in the movies. No, 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 Pasquale. No, 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 Pasquale. No, Pasquale. Ah. Best thing for you, Luigi, would be to stop the school for good, give you tired brain a rest. You think it's healthy to take things out of books and stuff them in that little head? Someday you're going to be standing in the sun and... Poof, he's gonna explode, just like that. <laughs> hey, hey, Pasquale, I'm, I'm a good idea. I'm gonna go right then out to board education and make them understand that they gotta give a Miss Spalding a raise. Ah, now you're talking a sense. And I yeah. look, I'm gonna give you good arguments. Huh? Just tell them that with the high prices, she's not gonna afford to buy chalk, so she's gotta write on the blackboard with a burnt the matches. Yeah, but if Pasquale... Shut up I... your face. I ain't finished yet. <laughs> Also, you tell him she can't afford the school books for the last two weeks she's been teaching you with the telephone books. Then you've got to... No, 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 no. Goodbye, Pasquale. I'm going to the board of education. Miss Balding is... He's got to stay my teacher. Ooh. What is this world coming to? People are fighting so they can go to school. <laughs> uh, Excuse me, miss. Yes? Uh, this is a board education building, no? Yes, it is. Who is it you're looking for? Fellow who's a hand out the raises to the teachers. Raises to teachers? Yeah, you know. You know, more, more money. Oh. Oh, you must be on some committee that's trying to raise teachers' salaries. That's right. 
I'm with the Holy Committee, and we're trying to raise it just to one at each. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't help you very much. All right, then, then please, maybe you know who's in the charge of it that teaches the money. Well, Mr. Winters is the head of our school board. He's right up the hall in room 107, but I don't think he'll see you. Oh, he's, uh, he's not going to see me? No. Why? He's got a bad eyes? Eh? <laughs> no, he's... He, it's just that he's busy. He's a busy, well... Uh, He's not going to be so busy when he's found out that his best teachers are going to live with him. No, please, not so loud. Maybe you could come back Monday morning. No, 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 Mondays are no good. She's got to have the money right away because you want to she should have been turned out to not have the money to... What's going on? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Winters. This gentleman insists on seeing you. About what? But, uh, but the Mrs. Spalding's a raise. Miss Spalding? Who is she? Mamma mia, the boss, he don't know who's working for him. <laughs> Well, we can't stand here in the hallway. Come in, Mr. Uh... Basco, Luigi Basco. Now then, just what's on your mind, Mr. Basco? It's about the Miss Spalding. She's a teacher in the United School. And you have a complaint? You don't pay enough for money. What? And if she's not got enough to pay the rent or buy what she's in need, she's going to quit the school and then, uh, well, she's going to join the employment agency. <laughs> well, this is all very interesting, Mr. Basco, but uh, what do you expect me to do about it? I'm only head of the board. Well, uh, please, uh, Mr. Head the board. <laughs> please, uh, please, uh, just, just to give a little raise, uh huh? Maybe ten or fifteen dollars. Uh? That's impossible, Mr. Basco. Her salary is fixed. Salary is fixed? Of course. Your instructor's salary is defined in the city salary schedule for teachers on the basis of the money we have to go around. Money, Daddy. Well, uh, who's, uh, who's to decide uh, how much money must go around uh, for the teachers? The Board of Education. Edu well, uh, who's, uh, who's the head of the Board of Education? I am. Oh, that's uh, good. I'm going to tell Miss Spalding if she's uh, got the razor starting tonight. Please, sit down, Mr. Basco. Look, I don't decide what money is to be allotted for teaching. No? Then, uh, then uh, who's to decide? Well, indirectly, the people. You see, teachers' salaries come out of local taxes. If we wanted to raise their salaries, we would first have to raise taxes in order to get the money. Well, all right, I'm a waiter. Go ahead, raise the tax. <laughs> it's not that simple, Mr. Basco. We are at our tax limit right now. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Sure. I'm understanding. Good. Now, do you have any further questions? Yes. Do you think you're going to give him a spalding a raise? <laughs> Good day, Mr. Basco. Oh, huh? hello, friends. What are you all doing outside of my story? Uh, Pasquale told us you went to the Board of Education. Luigi, what happened? Well, uh, was it no use to classmates? Uh, the board that had to say... Only way Miss Spalding can get the raise is if we tax the locals. It's around on a schedule, a salary, and all sorts of schedules, and it's impossible because the whole thing is fixed. Oh, Luigi, are you for shimmered? <laughs> What's the difference? The answer is no. Sure, too bad that it, it looks hopeless now. Yeah, but this. Uh... No, no, I'm. What? Is it not the hopeless? I'm got another idea. Yeah? Yeah, maybe it's crazy, but. But I'm going to say we should have tried it. What is it? Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, but please don't laugh, huh? Because uh, if it don't work out, it's... Off. You're going to laugh because you're going to think I'm a crazy. Now tell us, Luigi. Even if it don't work out, we can always plead in sanity. <laughs> Well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I hope it works. The baby be running around like he be beavers. I'm gebushed. She is coming in now. Good evening, class. Oh, hello, Good evening, Good evening. Gentlemen, since I dismissed you early last night, we have a lot of ground to make up. Oh, and incidentally, I'd like to apologize for my behavior last night. There was no way for a teacher to act. That's not true. A teacher's only human. She's not made from stone. Yeah, sure, I said I had to please her, Miss Spalding. Just, just to tell us so you change your mind about the living in a school. No, Mr. Basco, in class, I will not have any more discussion on that subject. We will open our books now and uh, we... Excuse me, Miss Spalding. Why, Mr. Wilson? Oh, that's a hard Yeah, yeah. Uh, Miss Spalding, some letters came in a little while ago for you. One special delivery and the other registered, so I thought I'd better rush them to you. 
Well, thank you very much. Oh, I'm glad to do it. wonder what they can be. Him will read it. I can't stand as a man. <laughs> thank you, class. I'll just take a moment. Dear Miss Spalding, I'm writing this letter for the whole class, so we don't want you should leave the school. Since the teacher's money is to come from the taxes, it's going to take it too long till you get a raise. We was to decide to make a private tax on ourselves right now. Every week, Olsen, Horowitz, Schultz, and me, we're going to ship in a $5 a piece. That's a $20 altogether. And we're going to mail you the money. And the closer you find your first week's raise, signed, Hans Schultz, Nathan Horowitz, Eric Olsen, and Luigi Basco. Class, you're crazy. Crazy like this, we should always be. And Miss Spalding, what's, what's the register letter? Well, it, it's from the Board of Education. Mamma mia, they, they accept your letter of resignation? Kenneth F. Winters, Board of Education. My dear Miss Spalding, one of your students, Mr. Luigi Basco, has just come to visit. Oh, no, 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 I'm a matter of you more trouble, Miss Spalding. I, I, I'll, I'll read the rest of this to myself, class. It is not easy to take a group of foreign-born students and educate them to absorb completely our American customs, institutions, and ideals. If Mr. Basco is an example of your efforts, then the city of Chicago needs your type of teaching very badly. I, for one, hope that you will rescind your letter of resignation. As for the money situation, let us hope that citizens' groups will, in the near future, put pressure on our legislature to increase teachers' salaries. You all deserve it. Sincerely, Kenneth F. Winters. I'm spoiling a what he said. Did you accept your resignation? Class, I, I don't know. Miss I... Spaulding, please say you're going to accept our tax every week. No, class, that's impossible. Yeah, but we, we, we won't miss it, Miss Spaulding. And maybe next year, if we like you, we're going to give you another raise. <laughs> No, class, but <laughs> you're wonderful. Miss Spaulding, I, uh, I can wait another month. And if the landlord don't, we're going to build your tent. You can sleep in the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a fun... Uh, Miss Spaulding, are you going to stay? We'd better get on with our work. I don't want to have a bunch of dumbbells in my class next year. <laughs> Miss Spalding is a society decided to keep on a teaching us, which is to make everybody very happy. Mamma mia, is, is it too bad the teachers don't want to get more money? Because they deserve it. If I was in a charge, I would have given every teacher a big raise in a pay. Every summer off with the pay. And every time she's to keep a kid in after school, I'm going to pay her double or for the overtime. <laughs> The eleven son, Luigi Basco, Lil Immigrant. Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum not only tastes good, but is also good for you. For instance, chewing a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint after a meal aids digestion and helps keep the teeth bright and clean. At the same time, it freshens your taste and pops off the meal to perfection. So, after meals and between meals, enjoy chewing delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum. Get a few packages next time you go to the store and always keep some handy. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Norman MacDonald. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conry as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Gruskin. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.